Okay, hi everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. This is going to be a green screening tutorial. So before we start, uh, you can mess with it as much as you want in After Effects, but the bottom line is if you don't light your green screen properly when you're filming it, then it's not going to key out properly. So this is by far the most important part of green screening and it gets overlooked so much. So um, if you're going to only listen to one part of the video, listen to this because this is the most important bit. So this is literally just the lighting uh, with the room lights in my studio. As you can see, there's like a really, really harsh hotspot up here. Um, and this part of the green screen is almost completely in the shadow. The goal with the green screen is to get the whole thing as similar in sort of brightness or luminosity as possible. So you basically want the whole thing to not be blown out or not going into the shadows and just be sort of right in the middle and make it really, really nice. And this is what I mean. So even this isn't perfect. We've got some hot spots on the side, but as you can see, the whole thing's pretty evenly lit. Uh, we've got a nice sort of fairly similar green color going on the whole way over it. So to break down the lighting setup, first of all, we have uh, these two lights on the side and there you can't really see from um, this 2D perspective but they're actually behind me so the light from them isn't casting on me at all I'm literally just using them to light the green screen and they're also two soft lights so I've got uh, a soft box here and a light with a bit of diffusion over it this just helps to sort of disperse the shadows and make the light a lot softer I actually took off the diffusion here in an example so you can see the highlights here are pretty sort of normal and they're not too crazy but if you take the diffusion off, they become blown out. So the job that the diffusion is doing here is creating a much sort of softer transition between the highlights to the mids. So as I was saying, these two lights are lighting the green screen and then I turned on the lights that were lighting me. So we have a fill light coming in here and there's also a light behind the tripod on this side casting uh, this little light in my eye and just sort of filling in the shadows on this side of my face. If possible, if you have enough lights you want to light your subject completely separately to the green screen to avoid casting any shadows at all on the green screen. And that's just because if there's shadows then they become darker spots on the green screen which will be harder to get rid of all the green later. The other thing you want to bear in mind when you're actually filming on your green screen is your shutter speed. If you don't know, the shutter speed on a camera controls how much motion blur you see. And when you're filming on a green screen, generally you want to increase the shutter speed higher than if you're just filming something normally. This is to reduce motion blur, and as you can see here, uh, my hand is kind of blurring because I'm moving it very quickly. The problem with this is that we can see some of the green behind my hand where the, where the sort of ghosting effect is going on. And when we tell the computer to get rid of all the green, it's going to be a bit confused about what to do with this because it's sort of halfway between being my hand and being the green screen. So uh, this is a shutter speed of 1 over 50, which is kind of what I normally film a lot of my stuff on. And then uh, for the next shot, I change the shutter speed to 1 over 200. And as you can see, there's a lot less motion blur going on here. Um, it's almost non-existent. And also, if you wanted, you could go higher to like 1 over 500. And that will basically eliminate all the motion blur in the scene entirely. So um, when you go to key it out, there won't be this sort of ghosting effect. And even though there's a bit there, this will this will be fine. I'm going to be using Keylight. There's a few different uh, keying sort of plugins for After Effects. This is the built-in one, so if you have After Effects, you'll be able to do this. So the first thing you want to do is select the color of the green screen. So go to Screen Color, click the little eyedropper tool, and select a sort of mid-tone area of the green screen. So about here, I reckon. And that's already pretty good. Um, I also forgot we're going to just draw a very quick mask around uh, the the areas we don't want to use. So. so there we go. And immediately, as you can see, we, we've got some problems. So the highlights are basically not being keyed entirely. So we're going to go to final result and change this to combined matte. And this will just give us a very black and white contrasty view. And it just kind of helps to see where things aren't keying properly. So obviously we've got some spots down here. We've got the highlight spots where the lights are shining a bit too bright on the green screen. And also uh, my top is going slightly transparent here. So basically anything that's completely white is uh, just what you'll see on the green screen. Anything that's completely black like this bit will be completely transparent. And there's a couple of things you can do very quickly to sort of fix this. And if it's a decently lit green screen, then you probably won't have to do too much fiddling. First of all, you want to clip the blacks until most of those black spots go away. And then you also want to uh, clip the whites and bring this down. And as you can see, because I lit my green screen quite well, it's pretty much worked perfectly. So there's no sort of floating uh, pixels or anything going around here. And my body is now completely opaque with white. So if we go back to final result. And as you can see, it's now pretty much keyed out. We're still going to do a bit of fiddling because there's a green outline here and it's a little bit sort of uh, jaggedy around the edge as well. But we're going to fix that in a minute, so don't panic. Now we want to kind of sort out these edges because it's a little bit dodgy. As you can see, there's a sort of green outline going all the way around me. You can't really see it from wide, but uh, when you go close up, it's, it's pretty rubbish. So there's a really easy way to fix this. We want to go to screen shrink slash grow and you just want to kind of fine tune it so you can zoom in as much as you need to. And you literally just want to get it so that it's not cutting into you at all, but it's getting rid of that outline. About there, I would say is good. And then you can also see it's kind of a very sort of harsh fall off now. So it literally goes from my shirt to nothing. You can sort of fix that by just increasing the screen softness to maybe like a one. 
that makes the, the edge sort of feather itself out a bit and it just looks a bit nicer. And now that's done, you can put a picture behind yourself. So for example, this picture of Paris. Hair is always a bit of a tricky thing with green screening. So as you can see, my hair goes a little bit dodgy, but there's no sort of flickering or anything as you can see if we go through. Um, so that's kind of how you know that the keys work nicely. And that is a very, very quick tutorial on how to do green screening properly in After Effects. If you enjoyed, consider liking, subscribing, and I'll see you next time.